Hello everyone, today's video is about how to remove and reinstall the magazine release on the Taurus PT-111, Millennium, G2 and G3. But first I need to show you something. And before we start, I want to show you the inside of the gun once the magazine release is removed. You have a slot there where the little nipple right here is going to go into position. You cannot push it in, you have to put it into an angle and then push it into position. The inside of the channel the channel is metal. It used to be plastic and people had issues with it because the plastic wore out by removing and reinstalling uh, the magazine release. This is metal this time but it's still a soft metal so it will also get dent. So once you put your magazine release into the side you want, I would suggest not to mess with it too much. All right, let me show you how to remove it and install it. So here you can see the pin, which is really a spring. It allows the uh, magazine release to come back into position and the little pin I told you about to allow the magazine release to bottom out and not come out of the grip. What you need right now is a long flathead screwdriver. I'm not going to use it in that case because I want you to see what I'm doing. With a screwdriver you will not be able to see but my hand. So what I want to do is really to push the pin out of the way, push back and sideways. Now I'm doing this with a hemostat, it's not done for that purpose and I'm going to look at the screen of my telephone to make sure I'm doing it properly. So, out of the way. There we go. Not too complicated. You can see it's out of the way. Now I can push from the ejection port, the exploded port, out. It will bottom out because of the little pin. And I want to push on the side of the magazine release to pop it out. I need to look at it. There go. And it's out. That's it. So again, that little pin here is what creates all the troubles. To put it back, choose your side carefully where you want the slotted part to be. And that is the part you're going to install in the gun first. So I'm going to put it this way in the gun. And I need to take the gun away from my grip because you will need to put your finger inside to hold everything. All right. So I want the magazine release to be on the left side, slotted side this way. So I'm going to insert from this side here, put my finger inside the frame to push the magazine release this way. And I want it into an angle. Let me show you here. There we go. I think you can see it. And with my finger I'm going to push inside. Against the frame and at the same time push on the rounded side of the magazine release. So I need it tilted. really not easy for me to do. I'm going blind, but that's okay. And I push against the frame and on the magazine release side. It's not doing it. If we look at the pin, uh, yes, the pin is almost in. Now 
I'm going to push part on this side. There we go. It will be noticeable when you are in, and you can see the pin bottom out on each side of the slot on the frame. Now to put this frame back, you want to hold the rounded side with your finger, so make sure you push it. And again with your screwdriver, you're going to insert it inside and move the pin on the side. Again using my hemostat. Well, I'm going to use a screwdriver and I am in. Let's double check. Yep, with a magazine. I am in. And that's it. It's not as hard when you do it a few times, but again, don't do it too often because that metal plate which holds the little pin in place does wear out. Until next time, see you guys.